Hello Pisces, how are you doing? I'm going to sit here and do your three card reading. It is hot, I was going to go outside, but just got done making jewelry. So I said, well let me, um, before I do anything, start doing the reading, right? Pisces, I know somebody left a comment that they wearing, they going naked or whatever with the mask. Do whatever you want, I don't care what you do. If you want to go naked, you don't want to wear mask, then don't. So I go some places, I don't wear my mask. All right, but it depends on where I'm at. Did I make where? It depends if I'm too <clears throat> going somewhere where there's a lot of people. Then yeah, I'm gonna put on my mask. But if it's somewhere that I'm going to, where I know I can maneuver around people and it's not a lot of people and all this, I don't wear my mask. If I'm outside going to buy plants and all that, I don't wear it because I know where how far I need to be. I mean, unless you are on me, and I'll be like, what the hell, back it up some, you know what I mean? But, no, you know what to do. I mean, it's just, it's just, um, you know, you um, being around, and, I mean, you, I know, I'm sure you're not that damn stupid or that damn dumb. It's just common sense. Okay, sweetie pie? Do you understand? It's common sense. And I'm telling y'all think I'm playing with y'all, but come September... When y'all see them young ass kids in the hospital dying for doing all kinds of stupid shit, along with the little gentleman that just told me he go naked, let me tell you something, you play with your life. Because when it comes back around, y'all all going to see different shit floating again. Um, Y'all keep playing, the shit's coming around and different, look at um, um, Vietnam and all that, uh, all this stuff is going on, they thought they would never get it, they getting it now. Okay, so let me tell y'all something. Y'all can play. I'm not going to see and stress over this shit. I'm in my own uh, space. I know what I need to do. Use your common sense. Okay, sweetie? That's what you need to do. And you ought to be glad I'm telling you to wear a damn mask. At least I'm telling you to wear it. Shit for your own good. For your own good. All right? Check yourself before you wreck your ass. All right? And don't get back here to say nothing else to nobody. You won't even be leaving a comment because you won't be around to leave the shit. Stop fucking playing. This is serious. All right? Now, thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I thank you a million. Thank you for all those who leave me, um, um, you know, whatever y'all want to leave me because y'all know it's all about uh me and you. But anyway, let me get serious with y'all. Thank you for all those who ring the bell. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ding dong. D yeah, subscribe. That's what I mean. Do I got to put a bell thing and say, ring my bell? Yeah, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you would never miss out on me. And that is if you really like watching me because I don't know. Some people may not like watching me. I mean, to each his own. I ain't never said I was everybody's favorite. But I'm telling you, if you like me, then ring my damn bell. What the fuck? So I can answer, hello, I'm the only one to leave you a damn number that you can call. It ain't too many uh, readers out there that even do that. I don't even know if there's any. Okay? But that's the way it is. Now, I want to show y'all something before y'all get crazy. This is the candle. This is the um uh, uh, wood wick that I'm using. That candle and that wood wick is too tight for the candle. The next candles, I already sent two of them out. The next candles that people order would not be in this long thing. It's going to be in a wider um, glass container where it can grow and breathe because that's what it's telling me. I need to breathe. I don't need to be in this little thing. It's too confined. Okay, so if your candle big dark, don't go crazy. It's just a wick. It's too small for it. And I just realized that looking at my candle and the one I did, okay, it needs to breathe. All right? So I just want y'all to know that. Don't get all worked up. It'll be okay. All right? So um, now, thank you for all those who get private reading and donate to my channel. Thank you a million because I sure enough went and got my coffee, Miss Renee. Yes, I did. You sent me that and I went and got me some coffee. I didn't get just any coffee. I went to uh, uh, where this is uh, Starbucks, and I got me a real good ass coffee. You fucking right, I did. 
So thank you, Miss Renee. Thank you for all those who donate to my channel, who watch me. Thank you a million. Okay. Thank you for all those who go on my webpage. Thank you for all those who um order, okay, my jewelry. And like I said, if y'all start leaving me your numbers, and I think that it's for a woman, but it's big enough for a man, I'm going to call you, and then I will let you know, Um, look, you order this, but is it for you? I can't do that when you order something, you don't leave a number, okay? Because I don't know who it's for. I got to send you the order, all right? Now, so please leave your number on underneath the order. These are the man's bracelets. Y'all ask me, I've been making them, okay? So once these go, I'm not going to make any more for no men until I realize this is what they want. Women, you know, you got everything for me because I always got all kinds of different things for you. I sell rocks. I sell stones. I sell jewelry. I sell um, oils, soaps, stuff to clean your house. I sell it all. And when I make this big move that I'm getting ready to make, you are going to be so overjoyed and so happy for me and for you because now I'm going to be able to get what you want. Anything you want. Anything you want, I'm going to get. Do you understand? Not only that, that's just like a little bit of what I'm going to do. And what I got for you is huge. And I said I will break you two off. And I will become the biggest you two it is. When it comes to helping other people. Yes. That's what my channel is about. I don't hate. It's enough out here for everybody to make money. Okay. So like I said. I will break YouTube in half. Because I'm the only YouTuber. That is willing to allow you. And give you what I got to grow. And make your money too. Where do you go to get another YouTuber to give you a number? Where do you get another YouTuber that you pay for $70 for a reading? And your reading is as long as it takes. Where? You're not going to get that nowhere. Okay? My podcast channel, I get for free, honey. Do you understand? Let me tell you what I'm getting ready to do for y'all. It's going to be huge. And I don't know nobody on the face of YouTube that would do that for you. Not on the face of you two is going to do what I'm doing for you. Okay? Now, let's grow together. Let's make this money together. It's all about giving, receiving. The more I make, the more I do, the more you get. Because it's enough money for everybody. If you call and tell me or you text me and you say, Miss Lisa, I need this, I'm going to make sure you get it. Do you understand? Because I'm going to be in a place for you to get anything you want. You got that? And I'm getting ready to show y'all what I'm about. I will reveal it. And it's coming real. It's getting closer and closer and closer to me. All right? There we go. Now, it is a three card reading. Now. Which cars would I like to pick to do your reading? All right. Which cars? Let's see. Oh. All right. Now, let's pick baby girl here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, these cars are my... And these nails, I can't wait to get them done. They are... Oh. I mean, I did, whoever did my nails this time, they did the worst. All right, let's get going with the three card reading. Let's get going with it. All right, spirits, garden angels, God, mother, ancestors, come and talk to me about all these three cards I'm getting ready to throw down. Can you talk to me and tell me what I need to tell my Pisces? Come on. All right, here we go. The past. The past. Ooh, ooh. The, ooh, ooh. Wait a minute. Let's do it again. The past ancestors, the past God, the past guardian angels. Tell me what I need to tell Pisces about what it was. What it was. 
Come on. Talk to me. Tell me what I need to ask. Them. Tell them what I need to tell them. Okay? To my ancestors. To my spirits on the other side. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Okay? Now, the three of wands, somebody, somebody is watching you, keeping an eye on you. Somebody been watching your every move. They been keeping an eye on you. They waiting to see what is popping off with Pisces. They got their eyes on you. Okay? Somebody got a close eye. Somebody's looking at everything. All right? Um, everything is on its way, but I feel like somebody here, the energy is manifested, waiting for the, the results of their efforts. Somebody's looking at you, watching you grow, okay? Um, something, somebody see that you um got this opportunity. Something you keep talking about is getting ready to explode, but I feel like somebody's watching you. You are understanding. This is like the final understanding your bits that is telling you that you are improving and you're moving on to the right direction. You're progressing. But somebody is watching you grow. Somebody got their eyes on you. And they, because they know, honey, you know that your stuff is moving. You know that things is moving in the right direction for you. You know that you're making progress. You know that your ship has arrived. You know? Everything is going your way, and you know this, okay? And on whatever level it's on, it's on there. Whatever level you are on, okay? Whatever level, whatever situation, everybody has different situations. But somebody's watching you grow, all right? Somebody, somebody knowing that anything that you said to them is, is happening, all right? They're trying to understand it. You've been doing all this hard work. You've been doing, you've been planning, you've been seeing, you've been learning. You've been watching for the signs, okay, that everything is on its way and everything is on its way. It seems like this is happening to you, like coming to you, like, wow, it's coming. And it's like everything is moving fast for you. You're taking progress. You, you take, you're being proud in the progress that you made. From your past effort, you created something huge. And that's what I'm telling you, Pisces. What I'm trying to tell you is, if you put your energy on you and not on someone else, you're going to be huge. And that's something about me that I never, never, never took my eyes off of me. No matter how much, whatever the situation was in my life that I had to struggle. And it's always been people. Or the person I was with. I never lost sight of my own. Of who I was. And what I needed to accomplish. No matter how much they try to tear me down. No matter how much they said they ghost me. No matter if they left me alone. Whatever happened in my life. I never lost focus on my plans. Never. Okay. You better watch shit happen. Because shit is happening for you. The thing is, you need to focus on you. And focus on what you want. Rather than focus on a human being that's fucking ghosting you, driving you crazy, don't know what they want and everything. Because something here is popping off for you. Okay? Everything you said is about to go down. If it ain't going down yet, it, it will be going down. Okay? Everything you see is in, it's in black and white. All right, but somebody is watching you. They got their eyes on you. Maybe they coming by looking at, you know, your windows and shit. I don't fucking know. Okay, you got another one. You got the page of wands. The wands, honey, you got fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. These, it's somebody is like all upon your shit. The page of wands is in your face now. It's coming towards you. It's like you seeing this shit. Look at this. Before you were sitting there looking through the shit, but now it is there. Okay. 
the beginning of everything. When you seeing it. All right. The beginning. Everything you planted, you rooted. Everything is, is, is going right. It's a new idea that sees a potential arriving. Inspirational. It's like you know that this is coming. You see it. Okay, the ability to manifest anything you want. Somebody is watching you grow crazy. All right? Someone, it's a spark in your mind that you know that you can do this. And it, it, it's connecting to you. Okay, but it's in your head. The universe is reminding that you that you can have anything you want. That you can do this. Because somebody got their eyes on you. And I'm going to keep saying Someone has their eyes on you and watching you grow. Someone that you just met. See all the potentials in you. And this shit ain't no fake shit. This is some real shit. Let me tell you something. You know, being around the world and I, yeah, yeah, I can't find my baby. Nah, ain't none of that shit. It's like you going around the world and everything is falling into your lap. That's how it is. And then someone else is saying to you, been around the world and I can't find you because I done lost your ass. Because that's what happens when people want to play and them being undecided and all this shit. Well, yeah, they see you around the world with another man or something going on with you or something new. Something is sparking your mind, a whole new idea. Maybe... You went through something, now you're back to doing what you love to do. Because that's what happens. When we, when people try to break us down, we go right back. We jump right back up and we start doing what we normally do. Okay, but it takes us a minute because we lose focus on ourselves when we worry about someone else making us happy. When the only person that can make you happy is you. But somebody is watching you and they got to close eyes. On everything you're doing and how you progress and, and everything. They want to know all of your business. Not some, but all of your business. And let me tell you something. You got the, the sun card, the yes. All of this planning that you've done. And the, the sun card, is you can't say no to that. It's a yes. It, the, your, whole, your whole card reading is saying that you are manifesting everything you want. And that you're going for, but all eyes seems like they on you. And whether you know it or not, somebody's watching you. Somebody got them, um, let me see if I can find and show you how they looking at your ass, honey. They got this here looking. They want to make sure they ain't missing shit, honey. Where is my, um, oh my God, I can't find them babies. That's a damn shame I can't find them. But um, I wish I'm not to look for my babies because I don't know where they at, and they better be in here somewhere. But somebody's looking at um, looking at you through their binoculars, honey. They are all up in your shit, and I don't know what happened to my binoculars, but I did have them around here, and I always keep them around me to look at the birds. But okay, somebody got real close up eyes on you, and they want to they watch everything you do. Everything, movement, everything. Because whatever it is, honey, you was watching for everything to come to you, and it sure enough did, because you started creating something. And for a minute there, you was watching things coming in. Okay, waiting for your time to come in, but it damn sure did. Are you ready for it? Now you got the page you want. It's in your face now. First you were seeing it. Let me see if I see it coming in. But now, it's in the face. Okay, because see, all of this is coming to you. It's very spiritual. And it has to come within yourself to come and show out. So, if you want them Pisces that you haven't been in, you know why you ain't been in yet? Because you ain't been in to yourself. You still looking for whatever it is out there or whoever it is to love you and to honor you and to see your work. That's why you ain't with the rest of these Pisces, seeing they ship arise, you back here on this shit because you still wondering and worrying about bullshit. That's why you can't see this door opening up. All right? Because, see, when you learn to leave shit alone, then you see the opening of the kingdom of the doors. 
okay? But see, this is called the devil world. So if you still sit on the devil world, waiting for somebody to come back to ghost you, waiting to hear from this person that don't even call you, don't answer you, don't say shit to you. Use you. Once they got what they wanted from you, they ghost you. Okay? But you still trying to hold on to them because you think you're going to get back what you gave them. You ain't getting shit. That's a loss. Okay? So now you need to get on this ship over here where take that loss and leave it and move on to this ship, which is the money ship, which is the growth, which is anything and everything that you can manifest is coming to reality. Okay? That's where you need to be. Worrying about somebody that ain't worrying about you. It's insane. Leave the shit alone. Because... You started looking and started getting far, but now it's here. Look at you. You sitting there with the wands, right? With that magic stick. You know how they say them niggas, them men got that dick, that magic wand that they throw it on you. You all fucking don't know which way to go because, oh my God, that must have been the best sex I ever had. Well, how about I tell a man this? How about I take your hands and your dick and cut both of them off and put them in a, in a box Put them on the shelf, and whenever I want that, I get it. Because I don't need the mouth or anything else. See, the eyes and all that get on my nerves. Talk too much and see too much. Fuck that. I'd rather get the box and the dip whenever I want it and play with that. Okay? That's what the what that's what it's about when it comes to that shit. Because right now, you were seeing this shit from a distance. And then this shit is in your face. See? You you and you in the fucking beach. What a damn one. A stick, Connie. Yes. Saying, okay, I'm in, so what's up? The ocean is there. The body of ocean. All the dirt. Do you take water to the ocean? Hell no. Do you take salt to the, uh, sand to the beach? Okay. Do you take water to the ocean? Because the ocean is full of water. Do you take sand to the beach? The beach is full of sand. All you need to show up and this everything is there. Do you understand? All you need to go to the beach and everything is there. And why would you want to take something with you when it's already there? You need to understand what I say or must I break it down some more? Huh? Should I? Okay, let me break it down some. So, if you feel like you've been waiting your ship to arrive, but you still looking through these binoculars. Well, when is my ship coming in? When is the ship with my, 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 uh, everything coming in the ship with the man, the ship with the money, the ship with the love material, everything. When is it coming in? When is the big old ship with the cargo of boxes of all without, yeah, you looking at that and it's, and it's there, but it's a distance. Well, honey, you got there and it's there now. Shit's pulling right the fuck up. You're like, well, damn. When is here? Now, what you gonna do? You don't need to bring anything with you because everything is here. Why would you want to bring something when you got everything here? That's too much work. Leave all that shit where it's at. Leave it there. Because when you arrive, everything is there. You don't need nothing but you. All right? I keep telling y'all, I travel with a backpack. I ain't travel with no luggage. The fuck I need a luggage for? When I get there, everything is there. It ain't, listen to me. Everything I'm going to need is there. Why would I want to pay for luggage on an airport when everything I want is there? Why people load their suitcase with all this shit that they don't even use? Why? All this shit that you don't even use. Why? Because they, they want to make sure they don't leave shit behind. I don't give a fuck what I leave behind. Because God says when I get there, I got everything for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I claim it all. And I know that for a fact because this is what you get after that. Okay? This is where you've been watching your ships coming in. Okay? Waiting for it to come in. And then this is what you get. You're there and everything is there. Okay? And somebody's watching all that shit coming down for you. 
And then you said, yes, motherfuckers, I made it. You get the sun, the sun, the Leo. Again, fire. It's like you are in flames. It's like you, you just lit up. It's like you are ready to do whatever it takes because everything is there for you. It's not to let the opportunity get by because you can't let that happen. This is a once in a life. Let me tell you something. This is a lifetime gift from the universe, from God. Do you understand? Now, I'm not talking about them people over there still worrying about who loves me. Who? Oh, now, I'm talking about the people that's all been on the ship. All right? That's what I'm talking about. You need to wake up and smell the coffee. Fuck the coffee. Wake up and smell the rose. Because you are a rose. Okay? And started waking up smelling a uh, pamphlet full of shit. Nah, we don't do that. Okay? We don't do that. All right? Now, um, you got the sun card here, right? And everything is going your way. Everything you want is going your way. You are whole and more than enough. You shine like the sun when you are happy. Wake up with a smile on your face every morning. That's all you got to do. And before you get up, thank God for everything that you have. For just being awake. For having a bed to lay on. For having a blanket and a pillow. For having somewhere warm. For having air conditioner. For having food. For having clothes. For having water. For having life. Okay? Your inspiration, your success, abundance, fulfillment, okay, creativity, positive love, manifesting dreams, the inner beauty. It's the yes. Everything that you manifest, everything that you want, everything that you will ask, you will receive. But you need to understand how important it is of the meaning of receiving and giving. The right way. The right way is the now. It's when you're in the flow. It's when you no longer have to fight to be loved or to be to have love. It's when you don't have to fight to have nothing because everything is in front of you for free. Okay? Do you have to fight for somebody to love you? Do you have to fight to get someone's attention? Do you have to fight to remind somebody that you love them? Nah, that's too much. Too much. Why don't you put yourself first? Why don't you get in their shoes and give yourself back everything that you're giving them? And you will see the sun. You will shine like the sun. You will smile. can't explain to you how it feels. I tried. I have, but I can't explain. It's like, even when I say, well, I know I got to do this, but now I got to see how I'm going to do this. The next thing I know, the answer's there. Everything is just there for me. I can't explain it. I'm just, I want to get there. I want to be there, but I know that I got to make things right before I get there, here, okay? I got to make sure everything is in order, right? And when I get there, it's going to be popping. I stopped saying, uh, well, I wonder if it's going to get be there or whatever if I want to buy some. I wonder if that's going to still be there when I get there. But God says, if it ain't there, I got something better. And that's all I know. And that's all I want to know. I mean, it's not a human thing. It's a spirit thing. I can't explain it to you. It's not human to me. It's, it's in a spiritual virgin of what you see that you can feel. What I see and what I feel I can't feel it. I can't see it, but I believe it. I know it. And that's all I know. Pisces.
You got a beautiful reading here. Okay? You've been waiting for this to happen for you. You've been waiting for this to come. Ship has arrived. People got eyes on you more than you got on your damn self. Okay? I see that when I look into her binoculars, I see nothing but a sun, sun setting, um, someone on the beach, and someone riding the waves. Okay? I see that um, it's like a ship coming in, like a boat is coming in, and I see that um, the sun is setting or rising. I'm not sure, but I see a boat. I see that she's looking at something coming in, a boat, like coming closer to her, and she goes from this to this, from, we don't even know where she's at here, but if you look at the binoculars, you will notice she's looking at the ocean. You see the sun setting there, you see it? But then it's a boat, cause you gotta go through this to look at it real good. You can't see it if you, if you, um, if you looking at it like this, you can see the sun setting on it, but I'm looking at it through this, all right? So, Right here, she's watching it coming in, right? And it's the ocean, but you don't see no ocean or not, right? But then the next picture, she's at the ocean. She's at the beach. You see the beach standing there. You see her right there. It's the beginning of something, all right? It's the beginning of it all, right? You watch it come in. Now it's the beginning of it. It's setting it up, all right? And then now... You jump in for joy, and it's in your stomach. You got the hat. You got the, the sun. You you jumping over the sunflowers, and the sunflowers are pretty tall. And as far as the eyes can see, you got nothing but sunflowers, which shows you where you are at in your life. Do you understand? This is huge. I just want you to understand that everything you want, you can have. And I don't know what situation you in, what level you in. But damn, if you are in a level of back here, not on the right, but on this, the left. And the left means left behind. Okay? All right? Get it right. If you still on the left behind, which means you sit there worrying about a man, worrying about somebody telling you they love you, worrying about somebody coming with you, worrying about if you're going to see that person, worrying about that person ghosting you, Worrying about that person using and abusing you. If that's where you are left at, then, honey, this reading right here cannot be for you. Because this reading is for somebody that's on the right that says, I'm getting the hell out of here no matter what. I'm moving out of this situation. Everybody um, is on different levels. Some people are moving. Some people are, are buying a new home. Some people are, are moving to another apartment. Some people are moving from job. Some people are moving from relationship. Whatever the move is, it's moving. And that's what matters. Do you understand? You got the sunflower facing the sun. And it's the yes card. Did you get that? If you need a private reading, get it from me or anyone else. I'll talk to you later. I love you. Bye.